Hello, welcome back to Say Hello. Um, I know it's been a while since I last did a video, but I'm back. I had a very busy summer. Um, but today I wanted to take you through the kind of five ways that Australians are way better at wellness than Brits. This is something I really noticed when I moved to Australia and again when I moved back to England. It just really stuck out to me, so I wanted to kind of take you through the ways that I personally think Australians are better at wellness than us. Okay, so Australia actually has a nine and a half billion dollar wellness industry. It is, in my opinion, it is like the home of health and wellness. Um, and I think a lot of that is to do with the outdoor lifestyle, the kind of healthy organic food, and you know, just the fact that Australians just incorporate like exercise and health into like their everyday lives they literally their lives they don't just kind of make exercise ha like a chore they make it an actual habit and something that they enjoy doing and it's just they have a completely different mindset and approach to health and wellness than we in the UK do so my first my number one um kind of way that Australians are better at wellness than Brits is that they really do kind of the beach is embedded into everyday life they everything they do kind of revolves around the beach you know people really well when I was in Western Australia at least I did find it more in WA than over east but in Western Australia the majority of the population live near the beach if they're not in walking distance to the beach they're driving distance to the beach if they're not going to the beach early in the morning for a beach walk or a swim or a surf or a paddleboard they're going at lunchtime or they're going after work if they don't manage to get there during the weekdays they at least go on the weekends and like even in the winter they still go to the beach they still they have barbecues on the beach there are kind of all these free barbecues that you can use and like barbecue like stations um celebrations happen on the beach you know you just go for a picnic with friends you just catch up with friends you just you go for brunch on the beach there's always cafes on the beach everything revolves around going to the beach um, and I think like that has a big impact on your health and well-being when you're kind of in a nice location that is beautiful and you're getting all this vitamin D and fresh air, like fresh sea air. Um, I personally think that is kind of one of the key reasons why they're so much better at wellness. And the second thing, which is kind of related, is that the outdoor lifestyle in Australia, it's a year round perk because their weather is so good. Again, especially in WA, because they have sunshine all year round, even in winter, um, they can go outside all year and they're not stuck indoors for six months of the year like we are in the UK. Um, their climate allows for them to kind of exercise outside all year round. And you know, when I lived there, I used to sail three times a week on the Swan River. And then I would also spend my weekends swimming in the ocean with my friends and like in the mornings going down to the beach for a swim and going to the pool for a swim. I used to cycle to work. I used to kind of walk up the beach every evening at sunset just because it was so pretty. Um, it's just so much easier to incorporate kind of being active into your life when the weather's nice all the time. And then that also leads me nicely onto the fact that Australians really do view exercise as something that is good and not just a chore. In the UK, I think we do have this habit of looking at exercise as a chore, as something that we have to do to be able to eat foods we want to. In Australia, they genuinely enjoy exercising, like it's just so different. And I found myself completely different when I lived in Australia to when I'm in the UK. Like I found myself enjoying exercise more in the UK than, I mean, sorry, in Australia than I did in the UK. Because, again, it's just so much walking everywhere. And, like, it's so common to kind of turn up to brunch in activewear, having just been to a morning yoga session or spin class. Um, and it's just, yeah, they kind of, they do, they turn, like, they find an activity that they love and they turn that into a habit. And it's just so much easier to do when everyone around you is doing the same thing. I also think that local organic food is way more accessible in Australia, so there is kind of a lot more farmers markets, there's an abundance of local organic produce, 
the supermarkets have local organic food as well and um, you know as an example avocados in the UK because we don't grow them in the UK we get these kind of like tiny little avocados that have been shipped halfway across the world and have this huge carbon footprint whereas in Australia they're humongous they're, you get these huge great big avocados and they're so cheap compared to the UK and it's just so much easier to eat healthy when all the fruit and vegetables are a lot cheaper um, I do think that meat and cheese is more expensive in Australia but everything else I think is so much cheaper than the UK and it just makes it so much easier to eat healthy when you've got like really well priced farmers markets and more accessible organic food now when it comes to food, like even going out is healthy. You can go out and be healthy and it's so easy. It's so much easier than in the UK. There are loads of farm to table cafes and restaurants. There are loads of vegan cafes and restaurants, health, like specific health cafes. There's just everything you can think of around health and wellness, Australia have it. Um, and like even the bars out there, the, they're kind of the like mixologists in, bo in bars that create all the cocktails. They're even creating cocktails now that are using their kind of local indigenous ingredients. Um, so in Australia, like in Western Australia, for example, there's a bar that I love in Fremantle called Strange Company. And they use saltbush in their cocktails, which is an ingredient that is specific to Perth's sand dunes. And I just love that they're using these like hyper local um, and sustainable ingredients in cocktails. It's just amazing. Um, so yes, yeah, so that is those are my five ways that I think Australians are so much better at wellness than Brits. If you agree with me, let me know what your favourite kind of wellness tips are in the comments. If you don't agree with me, let me know why you don't agree with me as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I just noticed a huge difference in my own health and well-being when I moved to Australia and my own kind of wellness habits. I have tried to bring some of them back to the UK with me, but it's definitely a lot harder without year-round sunshine and without living on the beach. <laughs> um, living in a city, like a big city like London, it definitely makes it harder, but yes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed or if you're an expat in Australia or the UK from either country. Um, and I will see you very soon. Bye.